don't go and spend seven and a half hours in the cold. Good morning. Uh, early start, so um, got a day off today. So we're going to head over to uh, Nen Washes and see if we can find the um, uh, short ear dowels that are around. Uh, they've been showing well. Um, saw them briefly, uh, what, a couple of weeks ago, um, but the weather was really bad. So a little bit foggy this morning, so hopefully it's not going to be too bad when we get there. Um, but yeah, um, really looking forward to it. Uh, and we'll stick around uh, there for a little while. Um, and then if, uh, if, if we get time, we might just move on somewhere else at the same time. So stop for a Greg's uh, breakfast on the way. So uh, that'll keep me going for a little while. Um, and um, yeah, so uh, let's go and uh, I'll be in touch when we get there. Right, so here we are. Um, just arrived at Nen Washes. Uh, probably a little bit later than hoped. Uh, it's about just over 20 past eight. So we're about 10 minutes after sunrise this morning. Um, so I'm not gonna hang around. I'm gonna get on, get set up. Um, and I'm gonna hope the owls will be out fairly soon. Um, so it's still a bit murky at the moment. Hopefully this sort of low cloud and, and mist um, will lift um, but it's not as bad as I, I thought it might be so um, so that's a good thing um, so yeah so we get set up we're gonna see if we find some owls and uh, let's just see how the day progresses so catch up with you in a minute We've just had the owls up, um, they're up and hunting. Uh, two, three of them around at the moment, I think. Just videoing one of them. Uh, you can see in the hedge in front of us. Uh, there's another one further up in the tree to the left. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can get some uh, decent shots. Still a bit dark at the moment, so hopefully they're gonna stick around for quite a while and, uh, and the weather might brighten up at the same time. Well, there's three owls just sitting in this hedge behind me over here somewhere. Um, been here probably for a, well, hour, hour and a half now, maybe, and they don't seem to want to move at the moment, so they're obviously fed, I think. I'm really worried I was about five minutes too late this morning getting here, um, which, uh, which might be a, a bit of an issue, but uh, I'm hoping they're gonna come out again. Uh, if not, you know, throughout the day, you know, might even be towards evening, as the sun starts to go down. Not that there's much sun around today. Um, but yeah, we're gonna stick it out. Um, and hopefully they're gonna come up in the air a bit more for us. Um, got a couple of very quick shots as I arrived, as I say, just as they were going down to roost really, but I don't think they were sharp enough. Um, so we'll stick around, see what happens. And uh, hopefully we won't have a wasted day. see on the back of the uh, viewfinder there the short way down just uh, sitting in the bush um, certainly doesn't look like it's going to do a great deal at the moment seems quite relaxed so my worry is it's already had its feed this morning um, but beautiful to watch great to see and I guess we've just got to sit patiently and or stand patiently and see what happens.
Well, it's now nearly half past 11. Um, so been here for the best part of, well, it's three hours, I guess. Um, the owls are still there. Uh, they had a little flutter around. One moved down to the other end of the uh, field, um, but they're still not showing any signs of any more hunting at the moment. So uh, my guess is it's probably going to be the end of the day when they decide to come out. So it could be a long day. Sandwiches in the car, so that might be the next stop. Um, but we'll just have to see what happens. And you know, we, with any wildlife photography, patience is the name of the game, I guess. But uh, let's just hope we get some results at the end of it. Well, today's been a true story of what wildlife photography is all about. I've been here for seven and a half hours at uh, Nenwash's. Um, as I arrived, there were three shorted owls uh, flying around, but by the time I got to get to them, um, they were down, um, hunkered down, resting on the bushes. Uh, seven and a half hours later, they're still hunkered down on the bushes. So, I mean, what do you do? Um, got a brief appearance from the barn owl. Barn owl came out for a little while. So, uh, but didn't stick around too long. Light was not great by the time it came out. Um, but maybe a couple of shots I can actually add to this video for that. But it's really been a, a video about, not total failure, but you know, not a good day. Um, seven and a half hours watching three um, short-eared owls just sitting in the bushes doing nothing. Um, but yeah, that, you know, you can't win every time. Um, I'm sure I'll be back again and we'll try again. Um, but for now, um, not much else I can say. I met some great people. There's a few other photographers out today. So had a good bit of banter, a good chat, some nice guys out there. Um, so uh, yeah, that's going to be it from um, from Nenwash's RSPB today. Um, I'll catch up with you again soon, and thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, you know you get something out of the video. Not quite sure what, although it might be just don't go and spend seven and a half hours in the cold. Um, but uh, yeah, as I say, that's what it's all about. So have a great day, whatever you're doing and I will catch up with you. Oh, and don't forget to click a like if you do like the video, um, although not much to like today, um, but do click a like if you like the channel. Uh, if you're new, it'd be great to have you subscribe, and um, I will catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.